Hi there, this is Janet Simmons and welcome to video 9.3. In this video, you'll be introduced to change management and how it's connected to workplace learning. We will begin with the analysis questions and move on to define change management. You will then be introduced to the elements of environmental assessment before moving on to find out what successful change managers do. We'll wrap up by looking at workplace learning and change management and the synthesis questions. To help you focus, try to recall when change happened in a company you worked for. Were you supported? What could the organization have done differently to support this change? Organization change is continuous. Change is driven by external forces, such as the economic, political, or social events that may impact an organization. External forces are beyond the control of organizations, but organizations must always be mindful that external forces are continuously influencing an organization, sometimes not so subtly as other times. Internal forces are also at play. For example, an organization's leadership or structure may change. The idea of change is rather scary to some people, so can you imagine how much more scarier it would be for an organization? Some types of organizations change are systematic. For example, in your personal life, if you're thinking about switching from a PC to a Mac or vice versa, you may be hesitant about working in a new operating system or worry about how Word, Excel, or PowerPoint files may change. Now imagine what it's like for a small company of say 100 people to make that leap all at the same time. Think about the training that they may need. Think about the possible anxiety of some of the employees. And think about how you can get all 100 employees to embrace this as a positive change. So what exactly is change management? Well, according to Moran and Brightman, change management is the process of continuously renewing the organization's direction, structure, and capabilities to serve the ever-changing needs of the marketplace, customers, and employees. Change management activities must operate at a high level today since the rate of change is greater than ever. Because of the quick pace of change, many organizations conduct environmental scans, so they're ready to either respond to external forces or be proactive and make changes just as the market is changing. A SWOT analysis is one type of an environmental scan. An external environmental assessment will include scanning, monitoring, forecasting, and assessing. An internal assessment will typically include examining the vision and mission of the organization and examining its internal strengths and weaknesses. Organizational leaders must analyze this information and create a strategic direction from this, they can carry out their strategic plan. All these changes in direction and plans usually mean training opportunities for employees. Ultimately, though, it comes down to having successful change managers in place. These change managers are part of the performance support system because they encourage and enable employees to move in sync and in the same direction as the company. Successful change managers lead by being consistent in what they do and in what they say. They must also broadcast clear explanations of real-world drivers of change. They dramatize new opportunities through change and share an individual dangers of the status quo. They affirm the ability of an organization to grow and prosper and they remain patient while pushing for change. Successful change managers provide resources, tools, and strategies to facilitate change. Now, change managers have many other skills, but these examples should illustrate that change managers assist organizations to move forward and support employees before, during, and after a transition. Support is often in the form of preparing employees mentally for change, providing training, and putting in place performance support systems. In the upcoming tutorial, we will have a closer look at performance support systems and the role of change managers in training and development. 
In the meantime, reflect on your personal experience with change management, training, and performance support systems. From these experiences and information in this module, how would your PBL group approach performance support systems and change management? See you in the next video.